What's this? This is my um, daily bike. This is a bike that I built um, last year. It took me over like three and a half thousand miles last year. And it's the one that I use kind of like day to day to get to work and that. Um, it's a great bike, I love it. Perfect size. It does everything I want it to. Um, and it started off as a complete mess. It was a, it was horrible when I got it. But one of the things I put on it, when I made it, was this Shimano 600 group set, which is equivalent to today's Ultegra. It is an amazing group set. I love it. Um, even with, oh, I've got the brakes there. Even with uh, the down tube shifters. Now you think you might think using them day to day is a bit of a struggle, but uh, the rear is actually indexed. You can have it indexed off friction, so it's not too bad because it clicks into place. Uh, the front derailleur is still index, uh, still friction. So, but it's only got two up front, so you know it's not too hard to get it into each gear. Um, but what I'm going to do today is swap these these index down tube shifters for where are they? There we go. Some Shimano 600 uh, STI shifters. It shouldn't be too hard to convert them. Um, I mean I've just got to strip everything down on the front, swap the levers over and then take all the cables off swap out these uh, down tube shifters for some cable stops um, and that should be about it apart from just aligning all the gears I'm also going to change the handlebars because I want a slightly different style um, but that's about it so what I'm going to do is strip the front, down, front end down change the bars over install the Shimano 600 brifters uh, and then start routing all the cables on and then we'll see how it goes okay first up let's fit the new bars um, I'm just using an SR stem that came on an old rally and I've got some ITM Super Europa 2 bars make sure I put these on the right freaking way Why do I always get confused like this? So we've got it centred. I'm going to align the bars once it's on the ground um, so I can get them at the right level. So I'm just going to loosely put it on and then put the brifters on. Obviously these are going to be a left and a right. I want to change the hoods but the um, because they're so rare now you can't find hoods for them which is a pain in the ass. Uh, they've actually got the Allen key swing them up on the side which I can't really see at the moment there we go. it's a 5mm apparently and again I'm just going to do these up loosely and then take the, bar, the bike out of the stand and align them when they're on the ground Okay, got the bars on now, and the um, doohickeys, brifters. So this is how I like to ride. Um, I like to have this top part of the bar flat, as in like kind of level. Well, yeah, flat. When the bike's on the ground, that will be flat. Um, and then I like to try and line this back part of the brifter up. So that it is also flat, so I can just ride on the hoods all the time. 
may not be the right way according to some but it's the way I like to ride okay let's uh, plumb up or wire up the front brake you just want to feed it in through this has a pair end on it uh, you've got to try and find the hole in the back somehow because there's a little hole that will guide it through and without sticking my head in front of the camera it's quite difficult So you can feed the inner through. And then tape it down after. Okay, that's on. So I'm just gonna tape it up again. Because I'm a Wally. I should have done this, should have fed the cable through first. Okay, so the good thing about these brakes, there's a quite a bit of adjustment. Let me just zoom out a little bit. It's quite a bit of adjustment. Here, I've got my quick release. So if I ever need to get the wheel out, I just have to flick it up and it overspreads the caliper slightly. Um, up the top, we've got the adjustment for the cable. So you know when you weigh your, uh, weigh your brake pads down then you start getting more play and more play and more play. Just wind this out a bit and it will stretch the cable a bit more and tighten it. So I need to wind it in a bit to start with. Okay, um, and then actually here, this little screw there, um, when you bolt your caliper up and maybe it's leaning more to one side than the other, this little screw on my calipers anyway, um, adjusts the angle this sits at, so if I'm touching too much on the, on the drive side, um, I can, I think it's wind it out on this, yeah, I'm have to play with it. Wind it, in, wind it in on out until the caliper levels up and then spins true. And that's just holding it together, that one, so it puts a bit of tension on. There's one under there as well that puts a bit of tension on it, so hold it all together. And then you've just got the pads, which I've put some new ones on for this time. So I'm just going to feed this through. Around this. Seventy-five. Yeah. Okay. So you see, I don't know if you can see that. That's locked down in place, uh, as you'd be when you're riding flick it up and it takes a bit of tension off so just so you can slip it out. Um, so what I'd like to do when I'm just in the brakes is just feed it through to start with and there's always a bit of slack in the cable that you've missed so just give it a bit of squeeze and it creates a bit of a gap again so undo it Pull the cable through a bit more. Don't, oh, don't, there they are. So that should be tight. And then tighten it back up again. Give it another squeeze. So that's pretty tight on my rim, so I'll just check it, check it spins. No, nope. so I'm just going to wind this in a little bit, a quick click or two. 
That's better. It's rubbing on one side, so it's touching on the drive side. So I'm just going to rebalance the caliper. This. Other way. Move the caliper ever so slightly, and now it's balanced, it's tight, it's good to roll. So, I'm just going to put an end cap on it and then we'll do the brake, the uh, gears. Okay, super dark in the garage, and I haven't got much room. But, next step, can you hear me? Next step is to put the um, okay, next step is to put the cable guides on. Um, so what it did have on before were these down tube shifters which would just have a uh, adapter, what would you call it, that sits around the square end and then that slides on. So what I'm changing them for are these, these are cable stops and the Shimano parts, um, same with everything that I use. So I just need to put one on that side and one on that side like so and then I'll be able to run the outer cables from the rifters down to these and that will give me a bit of adjustment whenever I need to tighten up or loosen the tension on the cables so what do I need? I need a little, a little Allen key I'm the worst for organisation, I've put stuff everywhere so it's a three mil oh, so actually uh, put them on upside down you want the cables running underneath put them on upside down didn't they So this one goes on that side. That makes more sense now. So you always make a mistake in this video. Always. Sorted. There you go, that's better. Two cable adapters on. Three mil Allen bolts, no problem. So I'm just going to put the outer cables on and out of them, and then I can wire up the front and rear derailleurs. Okay, just run the cables in. Um, adjust that. There we go. Okay, um, so I'm using some Jaguar formant out cable. Put a end cap on. There we go, just run it all the way down. Uh, same with the opposite side here, which won't focus. Um, but just went down to the cable adjusters and again put some end caps on it to protect them. So I'm just going to run the cables all the way through now, uh, left for front derailleur and right for rear should be, um, and then oh, just run it down, run it underneath through my cable guide, and there, and then round to the back, but I'm going to have to spin the bike around I reckon. So it's important to make sure that your shifter is in the right gear to start with um, so check that just by flicking the gears out putting the cable through and then flicking the gears through to check you're in the right gear um, 
if you're just conversing it like me, I mean the set points should be in the right spots to start with. So it should be just a case of, I've got it in low here, got it on low on the shifter. It should be just a case of pulling the cable tight and clamping it up, hopefully. Let's see. Right, so if I start pedalling. Oops, no, my limits are my limits are rough. Okay, so it was my limits. Um, I've just adjusted them a bit. Uh, these screws here. I've just adjusted them, and that clicking's coming from the back, by the way, because I haven't adjusted it yet. Uh, we're in top gear, so if we drop it down, there we go. And then feed it up again. Well done. So I'll get rid of that. Just snip this extra cable off. Um, put an end cap on it. And then try and do the rear. Okay, same as the front derailleur. Um, we've gone. Check you're in the right gear to start with. Very important. Um, you can just like skip through them using the levers, uh, routed the cable through down to the gear stop here, focus, all the way down through your cable guide on the bottom, round again and through. So I made sure it was in gear, <coughs> gear 8, um, I've just pulled the cable through a little bit and tightened it down, clamped it down. Um, let me just put you in the stand. So, should be gear eight, maybe. I haven't checked all the tensions yet. So this should be gear eight. Uh, where are I? One click, it didn't move, so the tension ain't completely right. So that's one off and slow. That's one off and slow, that's one off and slow. So it goes through, yeah not too bad, it's just catching on the front derailleur here so I'm just going to have to adjust that. Uh, but we are going from big to little so we shouldn't really do that. Um, coming back down. Okay, what am I catching on there? Press on the front of the again. Okay. Oh, I'm Oh, why not? I'm catching on. Okay, um, so my limit screw on the rear is too far over this way. So I'm just going to have to wind it in a bit to push the derailleur back over because I'm catching on the back of this actually. Um, that's what's going tick, 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 and that's what's making it so slow. So just give me seconds. Actually, I'm going to zoom in. These two limit screws here.
Okay, that was definitely the right screw, but I unwound it. Too much. Okay, that should be spot on now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, oh, we're all good. That should be spot on now. Come back down. Gear two, gear three, gear four, gear five, gear six, gear seven, and gear eight. Spot on. Oh wait, that wasn't even. <laughs> so yeah, my limit screw was just slightly off there. Um, originally, so it was just pulling the gears slightly too far over towards the frame uh, but that's all up now so I'm just going to check the tightness of that just snip the cable off and check everything's tidy um, I need to wrap the bars with tape as well actually when it comes to wrapping the bars it's quite nice um, I like to go bottom to top. Some people like to go top to bottom, depends on your preference. But just trying to keep it nice and tight. Trying to keep the overlap the same width. Just work your way up the bars. When it comes to when you get to the brifters, uh, packs normally come with an extra section. So you can just peel that back. Oh, look, SD6400. And then when you get to this part, this little off cut that you've got, you can peel the back and tape off just to go around it like that, just to cover up the clamp, just tuck it right up in there and then carry on wrapping. I'm going to go up and over now, and just carry on wrapping the bars, so that can go down, there we go. Pull all that sticky back tape off. Pull it nice and tight around the bends. And finish off, you normally get some black tape, but I'm just going to use some electrical tape because it seems to last longer. And then just wrap it around the end of the tape to seal it. And then actually to finish off, pop the bar end in. So just fold as much of this into the end of the bar as you can. And then squeeze that in. 
Uh, it will go in. It will. Uh, might need to give it a bit of a tap with a mallet. So I'll just get mine out. It's locked away. Just get your mallet. Tighten the screw so it don't come out. Okay, so there we go. Down tube shifters upgraded to well lever shifters, STI shifters. Um, I need to just stick a stick the sticker back on this side because I had to make an adjustment. But there we go, all done. Um, we run down. And that is all my Shimano 600. So what did we do before? The, if I can get this in before the battery dies, stripped it down. I removed the down tube shifters and fitted some cable stops with the adjusters on. Um, so it runs down the bottom, of course. Fitted the brifters on there, got it all nice and aligned in my position. Uh, refitted the brake cables, which I run underneath here and down, and the same on the other side and along. I uh, told you a bit about the adjustment of the brakes on this. And then fitted the gears, so check you in the right gear to start with. Run the gear cable down. I mean, if you just converted from down tube to brifter like I am, the stops will be roughly in the same place so I mean just get it in the gear I've gone for low gear on the front got the tension right and then it shifted across just adjusting the screws as and when and on the rear had it in the 8th gear pulled, it, pulled the cable through popped it through, tightened it up and then adjusted the tension and the uh, limit screws from there. So you've got your high, which is your eighth gear, and your low, which is your first gear. Um, and yeah, that's about it. It wasn't too hard, but it should make riding a bit easier, a bit more manageable. I don't have to reach down between my legs anymore to change gear. I'd wish I'd gone for the, the black cords, but unfortunately, they're a bit rare to find now. Um, so yeah. Hope this video helped. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But maybe explain why in the comments. Um, yeah, more of these to come, hopefully. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.